I actually asked several architects what does architecture sound like and um, for me architecture has so many incredible aspects from perspective of reflection and light and shadow. I'm trying to catch the use of the building but do it in a very elegant manner. My name is Emma Peter, I'm an architectural photographer in Vancouver. The love of photography for me started at a very early age. My dad was a film cameraman and I grew up literally going to every film production and sleeping uh, on top of the equipment. And I remember as a small child, I mean really early age, four or five year old, I used to help him in the dark room. And I remember when the image actually would start coming on the paper in the developer, I thought this is magic. And to this day, for me, photography is magic. I live in a very whimsical world and uh, every day is exceptionally exciting. I think everybody in their career has a pivoting point. And for me, it was a project by Tony Robbins, A. A. Robbins. It was on uh, Pender Island. And I remember, I had tears in my eyes. When architecture evokes such an emotion, it's like when you decide, okay, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to do modern architecture. I want to do unique architecture. I thought, I need to capture this. I need to experience this again and again and again. I always love to work with the modernists. Uh, for me, concrete is one of my favorite things to photograph. So in a way, this was the moment that changed uh, pretty much my entire career in architecture. When I'm photographing buildings, I, I, always, I always have this feeling that a building should be treated as a human. I know it sounds very funny, but at the end of the day, the architect has put so much love and passion and work in it. I have to see every nuance. I have to be there from early morning till, till late evening. And as a photographer, actually, very often I stop. And I mean, even now I'm enjoying the lines of the, of the light. I actually experience it not only through the camera. And I think this is important for us. I think we, we need to remember to see the world somehow. I would say that one of the biggest compliments I've ever received from an architect is when the architect looks at the shot and says, oh, I've never seen this angle. And suddenly you're showing them something that surprises them. I, I feel on top of the moon. My success, actually, it comes from my team. Success comes from caring for people and caring for your projects and caring for your clients. The world sees you if you're genuine and you're only genuine if you really care about people. The circle of architects I work with, we constantly talk about how can we create a cleaner future, how can we do multi-generational homes. I feel now we are at a stage in architecture where people have to actually start thinking about sustainability a lot more and in a way the homes have to reflect that and a lot of the homes in British Columbia reflect that. I think the Vancouver skyline is changing so dramatically and I'm recording it. I feel like I'm recording history somehow and uh, it is extremely gratifying. I feel many people think that with architecture you just show up and you photograph. Uh, it really is not the case. I mean, uh, we, we literally have to plan everything. We photograph. The process is, is pretty grueling and we're on site from sometimes 4 o'clock in the morning until 11 o'clock at night to be able to capture absolutely every single aspect of the light and of the story of the building. So um, it is key to actually understand the concept, understand the story, because you're telling a story, you're telling a visual story, and um, knowing what the architect wanted to say before you actually photograph it is extremely important. I feel approaching a shoot just for the sake of shooting is, is just not an option.